Hello friends, welcome to the next lecture of Tinkercad and in this I'll be explaining you what are the different types of batteries available with Tinkercad and also how to use multimeter so that you can use it in the further lectures. So starting with the first that I have to create a circuit. Now just give the name batteries. So this particular circuit will be given as a name batteries. Now what are the different batteries? So there is one 9 volt battery. I can position it. Right, this is 9 volt battery. Then this is double A battery which is of 1.5 volts. Now this battery can be with switch or without switch. Now if I say yes. It is with switch so no need to use the external switch and another importance of this is one battery pack it is a 1.5 volts if I make it two it will give me three volts three batteries and I can have four batteries and if I say no this batteries won't have switch with it now in this case I have to connect external switch now the third battery is the coin battery which is CR2032 which is the standard battery used in many of the gadgets. So these are the different batteries which are available with Tinkercad and this is multimeter. So now this multimeter can be used as a voltmeter. The moment I click voltmeter the volt will be highlighted. Ampere meter and resistance meter. Now if I connect multimeter in the reverse way and the DC quantity then that quantity will show minus sign. Fine let's say when we are doing the experiment of motor or testing of motor in that if I connect the multimeter in the reverse way it will show negative current. Fine so that doesn't make any difference that shows the current uh, direction of the current which is flowing. So these are the three different batteries, 9 volt battery, uh, then this is 4 cells of 1.5 so it will become 6 volts and this is 3 volts. So I will just keep this aside, I also keep this aside and let's say testing of this battery, 9 volt battery with a multimeter. So I will connect this positive terminal of a battery to the positive of multimeter and I'll change the color to red and I'll connect black to black and I'll change the color to black fine my circuit is ready for simulation I'll say first check whether the multimeter is a proper range so it is resistance range put it in the voltmeter range now see while measuring volt voltage it should be connected in parallel and while measuring current it should be connected in series so start simulation the moment i start a simulation it shows me 9 volt why because my battery is of 9 volts fine i hope this is clear now we will see the battery box of four batteries and we'll have a simulation with that so i'll remove this battery now just you have to select the battery and press delete now I am taking the another batteries and I am doing the connection here. Fine, connection is done. I will mark this as red. I will mark this as black. And I won't be testing this battery, I am removing this. Now here I'll, it is a voltage range. And now I am starting the simulation. Now see since there are 4 batteries, these 4 batteries are making 6 volts. Now what I will do, I will reduce the battery to 3 batteries, this will giving me 4.5 volts. If I reduce it to 2 batteries, 3 volts and 1 battery will give me 1.5 volts. So this is how I can use. Now I can uh, see even a switch built in. So this is on, it is giving me 1.5 volts. The moment I put a switch off, it uh, the voltage supply stop and it will give me 0 volts. Now this is how I can use multimeter in the 
voltage range now i'll use this multimeter for current so for that i need a resistance so i've taken one resistance now i'll just rotate this or let it be like this only now this resistance is of 1 kilo ohm and now i'll connect this in series with a meter so i'll first delete this wire and i'll have a connection here and a connection here now i'll change this color to red so this shows it's a positive terminal fine and now i'll turn on the simulation now since the battery is off it is showing me 0 volts and i'll put this meter in amperes range now i'll turn on a battery see the voltage is 1.5 volts and resistance is 1.5 kilo ohms sorry 1 kilo ohms so 1.5 volts divided by 1 kilo ohm you will give me 1 milli ampere sorry 1.5 milli amperes so it is giving me 1.5 milli amperes now let's say i'll change the battery to 2 the moment i make a battery to 2 it will give me 3 milli amperes because 3 divided by 1 kilo ohm will give me 3 milli amperes and if i make a battery to 4 so accordingly it will give me that's 5.99 so it is approximately 6 milli amperes now this is because the resistance in the circuit and the many different parameters so again i'll change it to one battery it will change to 1.5 milli amperes so i hope uh, how to use the multimeter in the o uh, amperes range we have seen and now we'll see how to use it in the resistance range so i'll stop the simulation i'll remove this battery now and now i'll connect this resistance directly to the meter and i'll set its range to resistance and i'll say start simulation so it will giving me 1 kilo ohm now let's say i'll change the value to 2 it will give me 2 kilo ohms and if i change the value to 5 it is giving me 5 kilo ohms so this is how i can use the batteries and uh, multimeter in voltmeter as a voltmeter as a ammeter and multimeter as a resistance meter so i hope this is clear to you stay tuned uh, stay safe and my next lecture is on testing of led followed by that there will be testing of motors so stay safe stay tuned happy tinkering